Hi there! This video is here to help you with metric measures. Before we begin, let's remind ourselves of some of the key vocabulary such as length, mass, volume and capacity associated with metric measures. It's important to remember the key differences between length, mass, volume and capacity. Length is the measure of an object from end to end and can be measured in millimetres, centimetres, metres or kilometres. Mass is the measure of how much matter there is in an object and can be measured in grams, kilograms and tonnes. It is worth noting that mass and weight are not the same thing. The mass of an object always remains constant, but the weight of an object depends on the gravitational force acting upon it. The terms volume and capacity can sometimes get mixed up too, but there's an easy way to remember the difference. Volume simply refers to the amount of space that is taken up by a three-dimensional shape and is often measured in cubic millimetres, cubic centimetres or cubic metres. Capacity is the maximum amount that something can contain and is often measured in millilitres and litres. Here are some different units of measurement. Can you sort them into units that would be useful to record length, mass and capacity? Pause the screen here and have a think. Press play again when you're ready to see the solution. That's right, units of length include millimetres, centimetres, metres and kilometres. Units of mass include grams, kilograms and tonnes, and units of capacity include millilitres and litres. Now, let's consider which units of measurements would be most appropriate to use. For example, if I wanted to measure the length of a book, which unit of measurement would be most appropriate to use and why? Pause the screen and consider your answer. Press play again when you are ready to continue. When measuring the length of a book, sensible units of measurement to use would either be millimetres or centimetres. Other units, such as kilometres, are too great to represent such short distances in a practical way. Now let's look at estimating. Estimating can also be called approximating and means that you are making a sensible guess based on the information that is available to you. For example, what would be a sensible estimate for the mass of an orange? Pause here to have a think and press play when you're ready to carry on. All done? A sensible estimate for the mass of an orange would be 100 grams. Now it's your turn. Pause the screen here and have a go at this question. Just press play again when you are ready to continue. Can you match the definition to the correct measure? You have capacity, length, volume and mass to match to the correct definition. Either the measurement of something from end to end, the amount of space taken up by a 3D object, the amount of matter in a particle or object, and how much a solid, liquid or gas a container can hold. All finished? Well done, let's take a look at the answers. The capacity is how much of a solid, liquid or gas a container can hold. Length is the measurement of something from end to end. Volume is the amount of space taken up by a 3D object. And mass is the amount of matter in a particle or object. For the next question, have a think about which would be the most appropriate unit of measurement. All finished? Well done, here are the answers. The most appropriate unit for the mass of a car would be a tonne. For the capacity of a water bottle, it would be millilitres. For the length of a rugby pitch, it would be metres. And for the length of a fingernail, it would be millimetres. Now I think you are ready for another challenge. Pause the video and have a go at this question. Just press play again when you are ready to continue. Which is the best estimate for each object? All finished? Perfect. Here are the answers. 
A good estimate for the height of a man would be 170 centimetres. For the length of a pencil, it would be 15 centimetres. The mass of a loaf of bread would be approximately 0.5 kilograms, which is the same as 500 grams. The capacity of a bathtub is approximately 180 litres. Well done if you got that correct. I hope this video has helped you to understand all about metric measures. If you still need more maths help, we have lots of these videos on the Twinkle website, so make sure to check them out. Thank you for watching. Hi there, this video is here to help you with converting metric measures. When converting units of measurement, you will need to be confident with multiplying and dividing by 10, 100 and 1000. If you need a recap on this, you can check out our multiplying by 10, 100 and 1000 and our dividing by 10, 100 and 1000 video on the Twinkle website. Let's have a look at some metric units of length. Centimetres, metres and kilometres. And these can be abbreviated as shown in the brackets. Now let's have a look at the relationship between the measurements. We call these conversions. There are 10 millimetres in one centimetre. There are 100 centimetres in one metre. And there are 1000 metres in one kilometre. So how do we convert between each of these measurements? To convert millimetres to centimetres, we divide by 10 because there are 10 millimetres in one centimetre. To convert centimetres to millimetres, we would multiply by 10. To convert centimetres to metres, we divide by 100 because there are 100 centimetres in one metre. To convert metres to centimetres, we multiply by 100. To convert metres to kilometres, we divide by 1,000 because there are 1,000 metres in one kilometre. To convert kilometres to metres, we multiply by 1,000. So if I was asked to convert 3 metres to centimetres, I would multiply by 100 to give me an answer of 300 centimetres. Remember, when we multiply by 100, we move our digits two place value columns to the left. If I was asked to convert 6,200 metres to kilometres, I would divide by 1,000 to give an answer of 6.2 kilometres. Remember, when we divide by 1,000, we move our digits three place value columns to the right. Now it's your turn. Pause the screen here and try to complete the table. Just press play again when you are ready to continue. All finished? Well done. Here are the answers. Remember, you can always rewind the video to see how you should have solved these. Now let's look at some metric units of capacity. Millilitres and litres. There are 1000 millilitres in one litre. To convert millilitres to litres, we divide by 1,000, as there are 1,000 millilitres in one litre. To convert litres to millilitres, we multiply by 1,000. If I was asked to convert 4.5 litres to millilitres, I would multiply 4.5 by 1,000 to give me 4,500 millilitres. If I wanted to convert 7,200 millilitres to litres, I would divide 7,200 by 1,000 to give me 7.2 litres. Now it's your turn. Pause the video here and try to complete the table. Just press play again when you are ready to continue. All finished? Here are the answers. Remember, you can always rewind if you need to look at the explanation again. Finally, let's look at some metric units of mass. Grams, kilograms and tonnes. There are 1,000 grams in one kilogram. There are 1,000 kilograms in one tonne. To convert grams to kilograms, we divide by 1,000, as there are 1,000 grams in one kilogram. To convert kilograms to grams, we multiply by 1,000. To convert kilograms to tonnes, we divide by 1,000 because there are 1,000 kilograms in one tonne. 
and to convert tonnes to kilograms, we multiply by 1000. If I wanted to convert 3.6 kilograms into grams, I would multiply by 1000 to give me 3600 grams. If I wanted to convert 2000 kilograms into tonnes, I would divide by 1000 to give me 2 tonnes. Now it's your turn. Try converting between grams, kilograms and tonnes. Pause here and have a go. All finished? Well done, here are the answers. Rewind the video if you need to look at the explanation again. Now I think you're ready for a challenge. Take a look at these measurements. Are they all the same length? Pause the screen here and have a go. Remember, try and explain your answer. All finished? Well done. Here are the answers. The measurements are all the same length. 27,000 millimetres is the same as 2,700 centimetres because 27,000 divided by 10 equals 2,700. 2,700 centimetres is the same as 27 metres because 2,700 divided by 100 equals 27. And 27 metres is the same as 0.027 kilometres because 27 divided by 1,000 equals 0.027. Well done if you got that one correct. I hope this video has helped you to understand how to convert metric measures. We have lots more of these videos on the Twinkle website if you still need a little bit more math help, so make sure to check them out. Thank you for watching.